What's up homeowners? I'm here to help you out with your Wi-Fi needs for your home. My name is Sundar. I'm from Less People Geeks and today we're going to talk about having problems with Nest cameras which are located in front of your house or at the back of your house. We're going to delve in, into this house where they have a camera right in front and the camera never works. It connects to the Wi-Fi but the pictures are laggy, it never records anything and it's constant problems and we're going to see what's the problem and how we can solve it. So first of all in, in a house we want to lay out a map of the house uh, to know where the problem is and I've laid that out for this house and the, we want to go right into where the router is and in this case it's right here. And we know that this router is the one which is transmitting the Wi-Fi. So uh, when, when the router is there, the signal of the Wi-Fi is only going to go through to a certain distance. Something like that. Okay, so exactly from here, we know that there's a huge problem with Wi-Fi in this location and this locations. Right, so definitely this camera is not going to get good Wi-Fi. And if you install a Nest, a smart lock anywhere in these areas, the Wi-Fi is not going to be good. So we're going to look at what are the solutions that you can uh, get uh, to solve this problem. So in the market, you can find huge uh, routers which have big antennas. Do they work? No. So what happens with those antennas is it what uh, it just enlarges the signal strength a bit bigger this way than what you get from Rogers or Bell but it's not going to reach to all these locations and they're still going to be there's still going to be problems so today I'm going to talk to you about what is a permanent solution which is guaranteed that you can do to improve the Wi-Fi in your house so we want to place an additional Wi-Fi transmitter in a location where it can solve Wi-Fi issues in these two circles. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, place color right there and right here. This is where we want to place our access points um, so that these two areas Wi-Fi is getting a good wireless coverage. And these access points have to be wired to the router. So these access points, you have to wire them through the wall, through your, through your uh, floor joist, all the way to this, to your utility room, right? From here, you can run a wire to this which you will install here just beside your Rogers router with the access point here and now two other access points in two locations of the house uh, you're going to get really good Wi-Fi here and here and this next camera in front of the house is going to have good signal and you're not going to have any dropout from your next camera. This wiring is uh, preferably done through the walls um, or you can run it outside which is not going to be looking very good but we are here at Less Table Gauge to help you with all that running all the wires through the walls as well as configuring your Wi-Fi so that you have Wi-Fi throughout your house and you can have Wi-Fi in your backyard, in your garage wherever in your house any equipment that you connect it's going to have a strong wi-fi signal for you to do facetime with anyone at any time thank you guys if you have any other questions please let us know bye for now